All right, today's Friday. I'm definitely ready to Shabbat. Gotta go show some one house. Gotta go show one house. Check that out. See that? Making the premier signs white. I have to pick up probably two more cans of spray paint. That is two cans of spray paint on them right there, and that's only five signs. I still have probably four or five more signs to do, so I've got to pick up probably four more cans, if not five more cans of spray paint. So um, I'm gonna hook you up to the car, get you rocking and rolling, and uh, got a couple stories for you on the way to our first appointment. And uh, I hope it's not gonna be what it is, but I think it is what it is. So I'll tell you more about it when we get in the car. See you guys soon. Okay, um, I'm gonna crank up the air for a second. It's gonna get real loud. I'm glad I'm leaving early. I need gas. Uh, let's GPS where I'm going. Oh man, let's turn that air down so you guys can hear me better. Okay, let's GPS where I'm going. And I don't know if I'm gonna videotape where I'm going on my first appointment, which is to check on the story that I'm getting ready to tell you guys. Or if I'm gonna videotape the uh, the walkthrough real quick. Um, my wife is awesome. She always texts me cute little things. I love you, babe. She's awesome. Um, you guys know what time sundown is today? I've got to check that out. I don't want to be caught doing anything after sundown. Okay. GPS is on. Let me plug this in to see how much time I have. I've got a ton of time. My appointment's not until six. Yeah, so it's only gonna take me 42 minutes to get there. So I definitely have time to go check on my other listing first. And looks like my other listing is on the way there. So, there's a couple different gas stations in Hera that uh, will hit one of those up. Let me turn you just a little bit that way. Okay, perfect. Let's, uh, oh, write down your mileage. Always write down your mileage. Today's the 17th. Can you guys believe the other day that, uh, that, uh, Incoming call. Press the pickup button to I'll answer. Be I'll be back. Okay, so um, the story. So I've got a listing and I haven't had any issues with anyone getting it. Now that doesn't mean that something can't come up. I totally understand that. But I've had at least over 20 people in and out of that house. Never had one issue. I get a call last night from an agent um, who's an assistant to another agent saying they can't get into the house. So I'm going to check that out right now. Now, one of two things is gonna happen. One, I'm gonna open my lockbox, door's gonna open right up, I'm not gonna have any issue. And I'm 80% sure that's what's gonna happen. Or two, you know, 20% chance I can't get in the house. Okay, and, and what they're saying is the truth. But I've had so many agents in that house, not one issue at all. So I'm thinking it's just gonna be that it opens right up rather than it doesn't open right up. So we will see. And then I meant to grab the spray paint that I'm using on those signs, but I know it's a flat white Rust-Oleum. I know it's a flat white Rust-Oleum. I'm gonna stop by, I think Hera has an Ace. I'll stop by Ace and see if they have any. So I'll probably go to Ace first, and then check on this key, and then hit my six o'clock. So that, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, today, super blessed, customer called me. They're ready to get their house on the market, sent them over the authorization, they signed it right away. And 
they're, they're one of the reasons I'm getting my signs painted because with the new Better Homes and Garden Company, we've got to have white frames. So I'm having to paint my premier frames white. And the premier frames they gave me are super pretty. Don't, don't get me wrong, they're great frames. They just can't stand up to Oklahoma's wind. We've got some wind out here. So going back to my original frames, hope you guys get ready to enjoy your Sabbath. Hope you've got a clear plate for tomorrow to relax and enjoy the blessings. I will see you guys hopefully two more times today. One, at the house where the key may or may not work. And then two, I want to do either a preview with you on the house we're going to look at or a shut the light off view on the house we're going to look at. Wow, this guy's going super slow in front of me. Like I'm, I'm at least a quarter mile from the stop sign and there you're going super slow. Wow. I'm doing 40 in a 65 right now. All right, I'll see you guys soon. All right, you can definitely tell it's Friday. There are people everywhere at the gas station. And I'm in uh, Jacktown. Just got some gas. And now I'm into Ace. They do have the, uh, they do have the, um, paint that I need and that's good and this gas station is super busy like I almost think I ran into someone but luckily they were paying more attention than I was oh good all right let's see what the new road work on uh, 62 looks like I'm gonna flip you guys around and put you on um, video slow-mo or something so this is from jacktown to hera we're going to check out how all the construction's coming along shoulders on it. I think that's been going on a couple years now. So I'm glad it's over with. Let's go get some paint. Let's see. Okay, they had four cans. Let's go see if we can get that lock box open now. If uh, the door lock, the door lock. She didn't have, the agent did not have any issues with the, uh, the um, lock box. It was just getting into the door. So I'm 80% sure it was operator error, but I'm getting ready to go find out. <clears throat> All right, I'll see you guys at the house. All right guys, Josh Bardat, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate. I'm coming at you today with another live video. You guys aren't gonna believe, um, I knew this was gonna happen, I was 80, I was 90% sure that this was going to happen on this property. Last night, I get a call from an agent who's an assistant to another agent, okay? Um, and they can't get into one of my properties. So, uh, you know, I got to go check it out. I got to go see what's going on. Why can't they get into the property? Well, um, I just figured it was operator error. 90% of the time, it's operator error. No other agent has had any issue whatsoever getting into my listing except for this one. So, but I still got to check it out. You know, that comes with the territory. Got to check it out. Got to see what's going on. But uh, I've got the lockbox open here. Can you see that? I've got the lockbox open here. I've got the key in the door. Now I want you guys to watch this. This is, this is something that happens a whole lot more than you would think uh, as a real estate agent. Watch this. 
it opened right up no issues whatsoever none whatsoever the agent uh, called me I was on an appointment wasn't able to turn their call called my office um, called someone in their office and uh, and they even left on the feedback that the key doesn't work and that they couldn't get in the property which is fine you know the key did not work for them at that time and they could not get into the property you know no big deal but uh, 90% of the time I don't know why they can't get the key to work it opened right up I didn't do anything to this door except put the key in turn it and push it right open so uh, funny things in real estate that come up as a listing agent you just got to check on it this works so I'm gonna let them know that it works they can go reschedule to show the property you know we want to get it sold um, but it's just funny I don't know I don't know how to explain things like this but anyways um, you guys give it a thumbs up share it with all your friends funny real estate experiences and uh, you know what why we're here you want to look at this property you want to look at it okay let, let's take a look at the land so it's 6.64 acres of really beautiful country it comes with a great big shed great big storage container and uh let's go ahead and take a look at this property so it's a fixer upper you know it needs it needs some tlc it's priced at only 99.9 .9, um but it has a ton of square foot a ton of square footage and uh Oh look, one of my agents that's been showing the house left a bunch of info here at the house for everyone. So that's great. Thank you so much, Paula. Um, you know, great big house, has a ton, ton of square footage and the basement is full, built out basement. Um, down there, you can't see it, um, but down there full, built out basement. Lots of square footage. It's all dark right now, so you can't really tell. Um, but I've got a six o'clock I've got to go to right now. So I'll have to ask the sellers if they moved this or if some weird buyer moved it and didn't put it back. So I've got to ask the sellers if they moved that. Um, yeah. Whew, lots of stuff being moved around here. But um, guys, Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden Real Estate. Uh, thanks so much for visiting with me today on this uh, little showing. But uh, yeah, the door opened right up. So don't know what was going on there, but we'll update the other agent, let them know. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. Um, eligibility requirements for live broadcasting. Your channel does not meet our updated eligibility requirements for mobile live streaming. You can still stream with your webcam or broadcast software. So uh, I'm gonna click okay on this YouTube update. Yes, I can't do a live YouTube, but I'll go ahead and do a record YouTube. Let me flip this around and I'll just go ahead and record it. So, um, just got to the property, of course, before the customer arrived, so that's always a huge benefit. There is a giant dog in this backyard. Can you guys see this dog back here? I don't know where it went, but there is a giant German Shepherd back there. So, uh, I'm turning on all the lights and everything so that the house, wow, if you, if you, if you're gonna list the house, put in those uh, regular lights, not those bright white lights. You know what I mean? Those those white ones, they're weird colored. Like, like here's an example. See that fixture up there? It has good yellow lights. This has that weird white light in it. Like, this is a house, it's not an office space. So, um, prepping this property before the customer gets here, it's pretty well prepped actually so that's super nice um, it's clean um i can't smell well so if, if the house smells like a dog i'm not always the best judge of that because i don't have a good sniffer but uh so far pretty decent layout on the house looks like a three bed with an upstairs and uh yeah so the 
the master bath. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, all right. Um, okay. So it's a little one acre lot. I've printed out information sheets for the customers and one for me. So I've got it and it looks like it already has a shop. Looks like it might be a 30 by 40. That might be a 30 by 60. Looks like a 30 by 60 probably shop. So that's good with a two car garage. So that's nice. Let's go upstairs, take a look and see what that looks like up there. And, uh, and yeah, then we'll have everything prepped for when they get here, so. Okay, quite the interesting little nook up here. Um, that's it. So, not much to prep up there. Okay, well, um, let's uh, get ready for the customers to show up. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, well, here, I'll tour the home for you while I'm still waiting. So, great big living room. Can I flip this around while it's recording? Uh, it's not letting Okay, just finished up showing that house, and now I'm gonna check. I asked the missus if she wanted me to pick something up on the way home tonight, and I'm hoping she says yes, so that I can get some Brahms. Do you guys um, have Brahms where you're at? In Oklahoma, hmm, I don't know if there's one in California. But uh, in Oklahoma, we have Brahms. I don't think there's one in um, Washington State. But it's your hometown ice cream and dairy store. That's their little logo. Hometown ice cream and dairy store. So... Let's see if the missus said yay or nay on the Brahms. Um, this house, they weren't they weren't jumping up and down about it, so this probably isn't the one. Uh, I gotta check out houses on 62 on the way home. They saw some, and then I'll also check the MLS over the weekend also. So, good productive day. Maybe even 15 different leads. Um, people ask you about properties, you know, if I was a buyer's agent, I'd be able to pick them up, help them go buy a property. I'm a listing agent, that's what I mainly focus on, so um, if they're not ready to get qualified to see the listings, then, you know, we got to wait for the next buyer. But uh, I still push those buyers out to my other buyer's agents and they work with them on getting them qualified. You know, they might take, you know, three to six months to get qualified. National Association Realtor says that people start looking for houses nine to 18 months out before they buy it. Even my wife, she was looking at houses nine to 18 months ago. She was. And then we just, we just, we're just getting ready to close at the end of the May if everything goes according to plan. So yeah, it's, uh, you just gotta stay on touch of, on top of people. There's a, The, the truck just honked at the car and then the car got mad because the truck honked at her but the uh, I had, it's so silly that people have to buy garage sale permits I don't know none of my business so alright guys Shabbat Shalom enjoy your Saturday uh, thanks for everything Josh with Better Homes and Garden Real Estate if you think about selling some land or a house, give me a call. 405-305-7965. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Bye.